Oh, look at, check out this dude. Oh man. What are those called? Like a recumbent bike? Damn, man, he's killing it. Let's get all the ladies. Hi, everyone. Ty Ramos Moto here. Today, I'm just gonna go on a nice ride. I'm gonna try to practice my high speed stuff. Maybe try tucking a little bit more. Um, I usually go on this like high speed road and you know, I find myself having a lot of trouble just because, you know, this bike can't go that fast. Well, yeah, so a little high speed practicing. This is a 50 mile per hour road. Let's see what I got, I got 50, all right. Well, of course, there's always construction around. Always some construction around. Yeah, so when I was going on like higher speed rides, not to say that I was like going super fast or anything, but when I was going a little bit fast, um, I found the wind was just beating me so hard. <laughs> what did he say? Hey. Oh. That doesn't sound, that doesn't sound good. But you know what I mean. The wind was just splashing. Bruh. That does, that's not any better. What am I trying to say? The wind was just uh, really powerful. And I, I just kind of felt like I wasn't aerodynamic enough. And maybe I'm gonna try tucking a little bit more. Hopefully this doesn't uh, mess around with the, the uh, camera too much the point of view but we're gonna try it so right now we're at 50 see it's a little bit better tucking yeah let's get to this stretch all right all right here we go we're at 50 maybe we should go up another gear Almost got to 60. Almost. I don't know if I should be behind this truck full of couches. Maybe I should get. Maybe I should not be behind it. Step one: get away from this uh, truck full of dangerous couches that could possibly fall on me. I mean, there's nothing tying these down or anything. I mean, they're vertical, I guess. Definitely might get a windshield so I can go a little bit faster, a little bit more comfortable, comfortably. Because it is, uh, again, the, wee, the wind beats me off. <laughs> I don't know why I want to say that. The wind is really, uh, I guess it's just something I got to get used to, right? I'm not trying to hit any records, just trying to like get used to going at high, higher speeds. This is a 55 mile per hour zone, so let's just go for it. Let's just see what happens. Try to be as safe as possible. I got all my gear on. I'm decked out, as you can see. Um, where you can't see but I got gloves on you know I got protective gear on so you know I'm being responsible I'm trying to be a good role model I can't really overtake cars sadly damn the smart car is fucking beating me <laughs> Jesus all right I'm in fourth gear let's see if we can let's see we're all kind of going uphill Oh, something hit me in the neck. Ah. All right, it only hurt for a second, but. Oh, I got a 
battle to like stay in the lane. See this? I just get blown off course, man. That is... It's such a light bike that I just get blown off course sometimes, so... Kind of does feel a little... Traffic. Yeah, man, I get like passed up by Camrys on this thing, dude. Like, like, you know, better riders, you know, can get this baby, can get this thing at a much faster speeds. But God, the, the shifting on this thing is so smooth, though. I love. I mean, I do love the XR. 150L just for that. It's just so nice and smooth in all the ways that you need it to be. Except just when you go, when you want to go a little bit faster. And I guess, you know what, that's my fault. You can't expect 150cc to just do all these things. But, you know. Alright, all right, let's see if we can go a little bit faster on this stretch. Here we go. Ah, I'm quiet. It's just because I'm concentrating. Kids didn't want this smoke. Here, we'll try another another place where we can uh, go a little bit faster. But yeah, I've been riding a little bit more. I've been feeling a little bit more comfortable. Um, kind of just sucks that the the weather's not that great. It is a little bit cold, but you know, I'd be here bitching about bitching about the weather if it was hot. So you know, you can't win. You can't win with me. It has to be a little bit. Perfect. Ah, shit. Damn, garbage truck. Boop, boop, boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. You know, let's get around this wall. I don't have time for this. <sighs> what am I saying? I have plenty of time. It's not like I have more important things to do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mmm, smells like Indian food. Carlsbad State Beach. Yeah, well, the speed limit here is 35, so I don't think I'm going to be able to, like, <laughs> you know, do anything. High speed variety. But, uh, I guess you're just going to chill with me for a little bit. You know, I was kind of reflecting on like why I wanna, why I like riding motorcycles. You know, for a lot of people, it's like it's dangerous. It's definitely a dangerous hobby, and people die all the time on it and get into crashes and get really hurt. You know, I was talking to my friend the other day, and you know, we we're just talking about motorcycles and. He doesn't ride one, but uh, and was asking me like, why do you want to ride one? Like those, they're so dangerous. I mean, mine isn't very dangerous, but even then, like if I get hit by a car, like, you know, it's not gonna turn out well for me. You know, I think somebody like in a leader bike is gonna 
probably suffer m much more dire consequences than me. But with that said, you know, why I even risk my life riding is because, you know, it's, it's just free, it's very free, you know, and it, it's a really fun hobby. It doesn't involve drinking or smoking. I've always wanted to do it like as a kid and it looked so freeing. You're just by yourself. So you're really alone with yourself and your thoughts and the road and your, your mind is just so focused on one of everything around you and yeah it's dangerous but there's that awareness that you have when you're writing it's like yeah your life's in danger you better focus you better be aware of that and keep your mind present you know I hate to sound like a little hippie guru blah, 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 but I mean that's what it is it just makes me feel present I feel very present when I'm here I'm not thinking about my problems and everything like that I'm just really focused on the here and now and so to me that's really pretty cool. Well, those guys just ran a red light. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, I think... I think motorcycling, like any great hobby, just keeps you present. Keeps your, your mind uh, healthy, I guess. Keeps it all feeling good and everything and we kind of need that we kind of need those moments to just put our luggage down and just kind of let loose and you know I think it's really easy when you're an adult I think it's really easy for the definition of letting loose to be drinking and smoking and involving yourself and all of these kind of things you know not that there's anything wrong with that but I think it's just it's a slippery slope you know I think once you start relying on other forms of you know oh look at check out this dude oh man where are those cold like a recumbent bike damn man he's killing it damn man he must get all the ladies this is actually the longest I've ever ridden lengthwise. You know, I've ridden around my my neighborhood like a hundred times over. You know, it's probably several miles. You know, I've racked up almost 300 miles on this thing. Um, lengthwise, this is like the longest. Should we just keep going? Yeah, just keep going. Why not? We're in Lucadia. For anybody that knows San Diego area. This is Lucadia. I guess we can ride through Encinitas. You guys want to go to Encinitas? Let's go to Encinitas. It's only like this next city over, I think. Damn, I'm just going to be behind this bus all day. If it's not a garbage truck, it's a freaking bus. Oh, hey. oh, no, that's a biker. That's a regular biker. I was going to give the, the universal motorcycle sign of peace, but they're just regular pedal bikers. They don't need my peace. Bum, 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 bum. Hamburger hut. Too bad I already ate. It would have been cool to just like do a video where I'm like, hey, like, come with me to lunch or whatever. I think we're almost near. We're almost near Encinitas, I think. It'll be a cool place to ride around. Let's just go do it. Guys, I don't have much to do all day, you know. I ride my motorcycle, I do my little work. And that's about it. You know, hang around with my cats, play video games. Ugh. Simple life, you know. Moto Deli. Maybe that should have been my YouTube handle. Is that not yeah, it's Moto Deli. Oh, do they is that like a motorcycle thing? Maybe it's like a motorcycle themed sandwich shop. 
Damn, that sounds interesting. Alright. This is Encinitas, y'all. <sighs> Another uh, city in uh, North County, San Diego. Pretty nice little uh, hipster area. People you still say hipster? I don't know. Maybe I may have dated myself there. But yeah, this is it. Oh, that's definitely a motorcycle somewhere. Or a car. Definitely not an electric vehicle, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Oh wow guys look the Taj Mahal over here Sorry not to be <laughs> racist or religionless Is that a thing? Yeah oh. Stalling Wow man this thing looks rocking Look at this What the I wonder what this is. Is it like a temp? Is it a temple? I guess we'll see. Self-realization fellowship. Huh. Huh. 